بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم سالار خان ہیر اور تدائی ویڈ سام ایکزمپلز آن دی فور ایر سیریز ریپزنٹیشن آف سسٹمز ناو ویو آلری ڈسکس دی ٹو ایکویشنز دی سنتیسیز ایکویشن اور دی انالیسیز ایکویشن سو دیز آر دی ٹو ایکویشنز دی وی آر گنا یوز سو سٹارڈنگ آف وید یو نو سام سمپلر ایکزمپلز دی بیسک وانز Although the sinusoidal we have seen, but let's say we do it again through a proper way. So this is cause of omega naught t, where omega naught is the fundamental frequency of the period of the wave. So what can you do is you can uh, well uh, now if you are asked to find the Fourier series representation. So what do we have is you need to get to this equation, and to get to this equation you need to know the the, the Fourier coefficients first. So that is something longer. For, for this sort of a way, for a sinusoidal wave, you can directly use what? The Euler relationship. So in this case, I could use is that this would be an exponential of j omega naught t plus an exponential of negative j omega naught t upon 2. Isn't it like this? It is. Now what can you do it if I further split it up so I could write that this is 1 over 2 exponential of j omega naught t plus a 1 over 2 exponential of negative j omega naught t. This is what we get. So now this particular thing is the Fourier series representation of this particular uh, signal. With what, with what are the Fourier coefficients? So have a look. You compare the exponential of j omega naught t with the synthesis equation. So if you compare this, so j omega naught t means that this is representing k equal to 1 over here. So for k equal to 1, what do I have is that my a, I have my coefficient that is a1. So a1 is, what is the coefficient a k? This particular, the amplitude, that is the coefficient would be 1 over 2. Similarly, if you compare this with the synthesis equation, you have an a of negative one you have the next coefficient that is a of negative one and that is equal to again one over two so this is how you get it and now to draw the plot to draw the plot what do you do is that you uh, you just simply have it like this this is your k axis basically this is the k omega naught axis okay and this is the a k axis so what do you have is you know that this is zero then you have a one omega naught then you have a two omega naught similarly you have a negative omega naught negative two omega naught so what do we do we only represent it with a with a k with an integer value we know that omega naught is already understood over here so if this is written only like this we already know that this one re represents the first harmonic, two represents the second harmonic and similarly so on. So we do not write the omega naught over here. So the values of these two are 1 upon 2. So this is how you plot them. This is the simple plot. Then if you are asked to find the, the, the magnitude and the phase plot, phase spectrum or phase plot. So what do you have? You take their magnitude on one plot, the, 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 the phase on the other over here these are real numbers so you only have the magnitude and this is like this we don't have the uh, the phase spectrum because the angles are all zero fine similarly now if you have a sine of omega naught t so if my second is that my x of t is equal to sine of omega naught t so again this could be written uh, in the form of the Euler's theorem which is exponential of j omega naught t minus exponential of minus j omega naught t upon 2j and did I write it correct yes this is correct so again expanding it as I did over there so it would be 1 over 2 j exponential of j omega naught t minus 1 over 2 j exponential of minus j omega naught t so over here have a look again so comparing this again have a look if you see that for exponential of j omega naught so this means that it's for k equal to 1 so for a1 i could write it as 1 upon 2j right and similarly if you have it uh, again you compare so this is for k of negative 1 so which means this is a of negative 1 and this is negative 1 upon 2j only two Fourier coefficients again again if you see so you could have this would be your k axis this would be your a k axis what do I have is at a 1 and a negative 1 so this is 1 upon 2j oh wait 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 a, a 1 is a positive 1 upon 2j 
and this is negative 1 is negative 1 upon 2j. Fine, so these are the two cases. This is simple plots. Now, in the next, I would tell you about the, the, the uh, what? The phase and that spectrum as well. So, let's say I have an example that x of t is equal to, my third question is that x of t is 4 plus cos of, cos of 2 pi by 3t, 2 pi by 3t, plus sine of 5 pi by 3t. This is, let's say, my next question. So have a look. What do I need to do first? First, over here, I, if I told you that this was this harmonic, this was that harmonic, so I told you that on the basis of omega naught, on the basis of the fundamental frequency. But have a look over here, I don't know whatever the fundamental frequency of this wave is. So first, I would have to find the frequency of the wave, that is omega naught. So let's say I name this as omega 1, this as omega 2. So what do I have is omega 1 is equal to, uh, should, should I write it? No. Okay, I would write it over here. So omega 1 is equal to 2 pi upon 3. Right? So this would imply that T1 is 2 pi divided by this thing or multiplied by the reciprocal of this. So which means that T1 is equal to three second similarly omega 2 is equal to 5 pi by 3 so this implies that t2 is 2 pi multiplied by the reciprocal of this so pi pi would cancel this would be 6 by 5 so t2 would come out to be 6 by 5 this is how you find the individual this of that we don't consider the dc term you know the reasons you know the basics what is the next step you take to find the uh, you know, uh, how do you find it, you know, to take the LCM of these two. So, for to, to find the period of the overall wave, you, you take the LCM, which is of this 3 upon 1 and 6 upon 5. So, the LCM of this would come out to be pi by, the, the, the LCM of this is 6, okay. So, T is 6, the time period is 6. And if the time period is 6, now this LCM calculation, I don't know, you know it, how to find the we have, I've already explained it many times in many examples. Over here, this is not my concept, so that's why I'm going in a little speed, okay? T is equal to 6 implies that my omega naught would be 2 pi upon T, 2 pi upon 6 means this would be a pi upon 3. So I have my omega naught now, this is pi upon 3. So for this 4, you know that this is for omega equal to 0. The first harmonic at omega is equal to pi by 3. So if you have a look over here, this is 2 pi by 3. This is referring to second term. So this would give me a 2 and a negative 2. Similarly, over here, if you see, so this is equal to 5 times the original frequency. This is 5 omega naught, 5 pi by 3. So this would give me the fifth harmonic, that is a 5, a negative 5. I'm doing it, I'm coming to that, okay. So, let's say I break it uh, through the, uh, uh, the, the, the the method that I'm using, uh, the Euler's theorem, you could say. So, if I do it, uh, this would be x of t is equal to 4 plus the cos, uh, for cos I use what? An exponential of j omega naught t. Uh, so, I would use exponential of j 2 times pi by 3 into t plus an exponential of a negative j 2 times pi by 3 into t and this is whole divided by 2 or I can uh, you know split this directly so I could write a 1 over 2 over here I could write a 1 over 2 over here fine then you have a sine of 5 by 3 t so you could write it as this plus uh, an exponential of a j 5 times pi by 3 into t then you have a minus exponential of uh, a negative j 5 pi by 3 into t and this is whole divided by 2j so I could write it directly over here whole divided by 2j I split it directly so isn't it like this now have a look what can I do is I could write this 4 as a product of this 4 into exponential of j 0 pi by 3 into t isn't it like this? So have a look. It's giving, if you compare this to the synthesis equation, this is first of all, this is the Fourier series representation in form of the synthesis equation. Now you're asked to find the Fourier coefficients. So for Fourier coefficients, what do you got is you got A naught equal to 
4 then you compare this again so this is 2 times pi by 3 you got a 2 which is 1 upon 2 similarly you got a of negative 2 which is again 1 upon 2 oh, similarly over here you have a 5 which is 1 upon 2j and similarly you have a negative 5 which is negative 1 upon 2j this is what the answer is now what can you do is you can you know draw the simple ak graph the simple ak plot is as over there i drew let me draw it over here again if this is my k axis this is my ak axis so for k equal to zero i have four this is a four then at one i don't have then at uh, two i have what two i have one over two at negative 2 I have a 1 over 2 fine then at uh, 3 I don't have at 4 I don't have and at 5 I have at 5 I have 1 over 2 j 1 over 2 j is over here and a negative 1 over 2 j is over here so this is my simple a k plot which means that I have the values positive facing upward negative facing downward this is a simple plot <coughs> sorry now what you have is if you're asked to find the magnitude spectrum and the phase spectrum separately so for that case you need to know the, the the magnitude and the phase of this so of course so what do you do in that case you write your ak you give it your value you write the magnitude of it you write the phase of it and how are they represented these are represented like this fine so so what do you have? Have a look. We have a naught, we have a 2, a negative 2, a naught, a 2, a negative 2, a 5, a negative 5. a naught is 4, a 2 is 1 upon 2, 1 upon 2. a 5 is 1 upon 2j, negative 1 upon 2j. So this is how you write them. Now you write the magnitude. So the magnitude of real number is the same thing, you know, 1 upon 2, 1 upon 2. Similarly, the magnitude of this is again 1 upon 2 and the magnitude of this is also 1 upon 2. You know this, how to find the magnitude and phase of a complex number. The phase of real number would be 0, 0, 0. 1 upon 2 j, so this is j if I shift it upward, this is a j by 2 which means this is a plus 90 degrees. You need to have the j upwards, okay, this is j by 2. Isn't it like this? Let me check first, confirming. Yes, a negative 2j. This is a negative 2j. Sorry, I did not mention the 2 as well. So this is if the negative 2j, this means that it has an angle of negative 90 degrees. Similarly, this 2j is shifted upwards. You have a positive 2j, which means that you have a plus 90 degrees. So you have found the magnitude, you have found the phase. Now you need to draw the graph of it. So if I draw the, the, the graph, let's say over here, this is not over here why don't i draw it properly over here so if this is my k axis this is the magnitude of a k fine so what do you have at zero you have four at one you have uh, zero at negative one you have zero at two you have one over two at negative two you have one over two at three you have zero at 4 you have 0, at 5 you have uh, a negative 2j, which means I, I would write over here negative 2j. Similarly at 5 over here you have a positive 2j. This is the magnitude spectrum of this. If you have a look from here, the magnitude, uh, and I, I have a mistake I believe. I have a mistake. Because the magnitude, I'm drawing the magnitude, okay. So, so sorry, these were not negative 2j, these were both positive 1 over 2. These are both positive 1 over 2 because I'm drawing the magnitude of it. So if you have a look from here, we can deduce a property and the property is that the magnitude spectrum is an even function of k. You write it please. The magnitude spectrum is an even function of k and this is how you get it. your time reverse it you get the same thing this is an even function similarly 
now you talk about the phase spectrum so if this is my uh, have a look this is my k axis this is my angle of a k axis so at zero you have a zero angle at one two three four at five you have a negative 90 degrees or, or let me draw it a little upwards let me draw it like this so if this is my k axis at five i have a negative 90 degrees and at a negative 5, I have a positive 90 degrees. From this, I can reduce. This is another property that the phase spectrum, the phase spectrum is an odd function of k. So this is an odd function of k. Fine. Over there, the magnitude spectrum is an even function. This means that the magnitude of a k is equal to the magnitude of a of minus k. Over here, this means the phase of a k is equal to the minus of the phase of a of minus k. This is what even and odd spectrum, even and odd means over here. Now I have uh, you know two more examples uh, related to this, but if I continue uh, it over here, so you may get bored. So I end this video over here, see you in the next one. Yes, till then take care. Goodbye.